going on, growers? It's James Brigioni coming to you live from Jersey. There's nothing like going out to your garden midwinter and grabbing some fresh greens when you really need them. So today, me and Tucker are going to share with you 10 crops that will feed you through the winter. Let's go! The first crop that will feed you through the winter is also one of the most cold hardy. This is tatsoi. It can withstand temperatures down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. In the winter, it's common to see this plant peeking through the snow after a storm. It's that cold hardy. I prefer growing my tatsoi in the fall and winter because when I try to grow it in the spring and summer, it just tends to bolt too quickly in the heat. Come down here, check out how beautiful this thing grows in a rosette shape. It's got these soft leaves. It's got a nice mild flavor to it. We'll try one of them. And look how compact it grows. It's like it was perfectly bred to grow through the winter and withstand those cold temperatures. I just love the way this plant looks. So let's get a taste of them. And first, before we do that, let's see if Tuck wants a taste of the stems. He usually likes Nebraska stems. Let's see what he thinks. Yeah, that's always pretty good. We'll have to give this one a Tuck approved. Let me get a taste of it now. Nice sweet earthy flavor a little bit of the hint of that brassica in there but just overall a great plant and one of the most cold hardy ones out there the second crop that will feed you through the winter is swiss chard this nutrient dense crop is the one that bill mollison says americans just do not grow enough of swiss chard is one of those planted and forget about it crops i put this thing in the ground in the spring it's produced all season through the summer through the fall and now it will produce through the winter Another great thing about Swiss chard is that it grows well in partial shade. So as the days get shorter and shorter, this thing will keep kicking out more and more leaves. The third crop that will feed us through the winter is lettuce. This fast growing annual will do best through the winter when planting cold hardy varieties like the Lala Rosa and the Winter Marvel. Because lettuce grows a lot slower at this time of the year, you could plant it a lot denser than you would in the spring. Another thing I want to mention is if you want to grow lettuce through the winter without using a season extension method like a hinged hoop house or something or a cold frame, you could plant lettuce in pots just like this. Then before a real heavy frost comes, you could bring your lettuce in, stick it in a greenhouse or on a south facing window. This way you could still get some fresh salads while well, it's winter. It's a beautiful day out here, especially for November. You can gauge how hot it is by how deep this guy digs his hole. So he's got a pretty deep one down there today, so it's uh, really warm out. If you love seeing the boss in the videos, spam some hearts down low. Me and Tuck also wanted to mention that we still got the fall merch. So if you wanna support Team Grow, grab a shirt, grab a sweatshirt, grab a dog bowl or something at jamesprigioni.com. The fourth crop that will feed you through the winter is arugula. This nutty flavored green usually bolts for me early in the spring and summer, but grows great through the winter. Just make sure when you plant it in the winter, you plant a cold hardy variety like the ice bread arugula. This green goes great in a winter salad, adds a nice flavor to it. It has very little pest and disease issues and it grows well in partial shade. So just a fantastic green to feed you through the winter. Such a distinct nutty flavor, a little bit of a spice to it, absolutely delicious. The fifth crop that will feed you through the winter is kale. This one's similar to Swiss chard in that you could plant it in the spring, let it grow all year through the winter because it's a biennial. That means it has a two year life cycle, so it won't bolt in the summer when it gets hot like your lettuce. Right here is some dazzling blue kale. And then to the right of me here, we've got some scarlet kale. These I planted in the spring and they'll continue to grow through the winter, but they will not continue to produce all winter long and through the winter without a covering. I have found that the only varieties of kale that will produce with no covering all winter are the Russian varieties, like the red Russian kale and the white Russian kale. So if you plan on growing these without a cover, make sure you get one of the Russian varieties in. The sixth crop that will feed you through the winter is Mizuna. This one's in the mustard family, has good cold hardiness, and also has this beautiful thin little leaves. It adds a great addition to a winter salad and has a nice little spice to them. Mizuna is great for cut and come again harvesting. It's not as cold hardy as something like a tatsoi though. So if you want to grow this thing through the whole entire winter, it's going to need a covering. Another great thing about it is it's a biennial. So if it gets a little hot in your cold frame through the winter, it won't bolt like a lettuce will. The seventh crop that feeds you through the winter is Claytonia. This is one of my favorite winter snacks, sometimes called miner's lettuce. It's got these great, incredible soft texture to the leaves, a nice lemony flavor also. This one is excellent for a cut and come again green. And I usually can grow this through the winter with no covering. Let's get a little taste of it. Such a soft texture. Hint of lemon, but 
has that like earthy purslane flavor. That's why it's sometimes called winter purslane. Just a great green to grow. Claytonia reseeds really easily also. You'll notice, look how it's just surrounded around talk all over the ground. So it'll come up everywhere. If you don't want it reseeding, then just make sure you go to your Claytonia when it's flowering and just cut the flowers back. Because if you don't, it'll just reseed everywhere. The eighth crop that will feed you through the winter are mustard greens. These are relatively cold hardy. You can get some in purple or green. This one right here is the Lady Maraschi. I'm growing this for the beautiful purple color that it has, but also the mild and delectable flavor. Here's another one right here. Let's just grab a little piece off and get a taste for it. So obviously have a nice mustard flavor to them. Look how beautiful the gloss and the shine is on this thing. Just extremely purple color. Beautiful to see, let's taste it. Excellent mild mustard flavor. Not like really overpowering like sometimes when you try like the radish leaves or something. This, absolutely delicious. The ninth crop that will feed you through the winter are cilantro and parsley. These ones can survive a light frost, but what you wanna do is plant them in a pot. So before a heavy frost comes, you could take these into your greenhouse or bring them inside on a south facing window. These are gonna be great to have inside during the winter so you can use some fresh herbs. The closer they are, the more you'll use them. Bill Mollison used to say that your herbs should be so close that if it rains outside, you can go out and get them without having to get your slippers wet. The 10th crop that will feed you through the winter is spinach, but not just any variety of spinach. You wanna plant a cold hardy variety like the giant winter spinach. So when it comes to crops to grow in the winter, you don't just wanna choose the kind that's cold hardy, you also want to choose the variety within the kind that's the cold hardiest. So when it comes to spinach, you wanna plant like the giant winter spinach, which is bred for cold hardiness, as opposed to something like the Avon spinach, which is bred to not bolt. So that's a great one for the spring and the summer. When it comes to the fall and winter, get something like a giant winter spinach in the ground. Before I let you go, there's a few more cold hardy veggies that I need to mention. The first one right here is Yakina Savoy. This is also known as the snow vegetable. It looks similar to your tatsoi, tastes pretty similar, but isn't as cold hardy. Still a beautiful plant and relatively cold hardy. Next over here, this is the mashi. This is one of the most cold hardy plants there are. This will survive all winter without a covering. There's a couple others that I wanted to mention as like honorable mentions. So when it comes to radishes and carrots, you can be eating those through the winter. It's just gonna depend if you have a cover on them or not. So if you don't have a cover on your carrots, then you wanna go out and grab them before a heavy frost comes. If you do have a cover on your carrots, you can kinda let them grow because the ground won't freeze. If the ground freezes, the carrots will go bad. If the ground doesn't feed, freeze, you can be harvesting carrots super late into the winter. Look how fat this guy got, holy. There we go. I just laid out for you the 10 cold hardy crops that will feed you through the winter with a few bonuses. Now I want to mention some of the techniques that are necessary. So mentioning all those crops, I talked about one of the three main staples that are important to growing through the winter. The first one is variety selection. That's incredibly important. You need to make sure you're choosing the right varieties even if you choose cold hardy crops. The second one is to use coverings. A lot of the crops that I mentioned, they won't grow through the whole entire winter where I live without some kind of covering, whether that be a hinged hoop house or a cold frame. And the third thing is timing. So you can't be planting your crops in the middle of the winter because they're not just gonna grow much. You need to have your plants a little bit grown and established because at that stage, they're a lot more cold hardy. If you just transplant young plants in, they're not gonna be very cold hardy and a frost could really kill them. That's today's video, girls. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you try to grow some of your plants and some greens through the winter. It's a lot of fun, like I mentioned earlier in the video, to just go out there midwinter after a snowstorm, pick up like a frame and just have all those greens that you could eat. It's just, uh, it just feels so great and they just feel like they feed your body so much midwinter. It's like once the winter comes, I'm always craving the greens. So to be able to go out into the garden, harvest fresh organic greens from my own backyard, it's uh. It's, it's priceless. So me and Tuck, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We wanted to mention to grab some of the fall merch down at jamesprigioni.com. Grab a shirt, grab a sweatshirt, grab whatever you want. The boss is, you know, chilling, laying down again. If you love seeing him in the videos, do not forget to spam the hearts down low for Big Tuck. He's a little tired out after uh, he was running around a lot today, enjoying the weather. I also wanted to mention one of our new channel members and say a thank you to Mark Heller. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for contributing. Thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing back here. We had a blast. We hope you guys got some value out of it. And me and Tuck will be back to you again real soon. We out.